Hey everyone, so this is going to be a little rant about a particular topic. The topic is smugness and uh, how much I loathe it. And, you know, the reason why I'm talking about it is because personally, where I've seen it the most is as a comment response or a channel comment or whatever to atheist videos and atheist YouTubers. Um, but I've also seen it uh, in response and its channel comments to theist users and the reason why I see it more in atheists and get more upset by it is because I'm an atheist and I watch more atheist videos and my priority is actually kind of, you know, calling out things I think that are going wrong in the groups that I identify with. So that's why I guess my focus is on atheist smugness, but it exists in pretty much the same measure in theism, and I think it's not limited to that. I think it exists in pretty much every every divide, you know, left, right, whatever. Um, you know, people on both sides are usually going to end up being smug um, because they feel assured in their position in some way. I guess, you know, my example of atheist smugness, theist smugness is stuff like, you know, oh, well, obviously, you know, those atheists, they have their heart taken over by Satan. Let's not take what they're saying seriously, because, you know, God loves us, and those atheists, they're fallen, so, you know, that's, that's pretty smug. And then we have things like, you know, when you say, well, I used to be a Christian, but I didn't find the evidence compelling, so I stopped being a Christian, I became an atheist. People will say things like, well, then you can't have been a true Christian. If you've been a real Christian, if you'd experienced God like I have, personally, then you would have never, ever become an atheist. That kind of smartness. Um, from atheists, it usually takes the form of something along the lines of what you believe in a sky daddy <laughs> you're so needy why are you so emotionally weak you know or like why are you so irrational um, and you know there's various kind of uh, plays on the same theme but it goes along these lines when atheists when atheists talk about theists um, in smart terms, it's usually about how they're irrational, how they're emotionally weak and cling to father figures, um, that kind of stuff. And the reason why I really don't like it is kind of twofold. The first is it's an obvious total overgeneralization that is just silly um, because it doesn't really, you know, People are Christians for all kinds of reasons. There are a lot of Christians that have balls that are harder than diamonds. So, you know, all of your, ooh, they're, you know, they obviously lack a father figure. Hmm, Sky Day. <laughs> That's just bullshit. And, you know, the whole, oh, they're just irrational. They're just, you know, they're just monkeys. Look at them. Oh, they're playing with their silly little toys. You know, you have Christians that are obviously scientists and, you know, very, very respected scientists. So, no, that doesn't play either. You can say that maybe Christianity is like a little bit of irrationality in their otherwise rational existence. You can make that argument if, an if you're an atheist. I mean, I would. Theists may make the same argument towards atheists. But as an atheist, that would be, you know, I'd be like, well, he's a scientist, but he's religious. That kind of, you know, doesn't make sense to me. I consider that a bit irrational. But even if you took that view as an atheist, then that still wouldn't give you nearly enough justification to be a smug bastard about it, to somehow pretend like you're superior to, to religious people. Because you're probably not. This is the thing. Unless you are, you know, someone who's won the Nobel Prize three times, and you're also, at the same time, the emotionally most stable man on Earth. You know, you've lost your, your parents and your loved ones, and you just don't care, and you're just sitting there laughing. 
But you're still totally compassionate inside, it's just that you're so emotionally strong. Unless you're that person, then, you know, you don't really have the right to be that smug, because, yeah, even if you accept that that might be an exception to their otherwise rationality, which as an atheist you might, even if you accept that, you know, God may provide some form of comfort, that doesn't mean that you're better than them in either of these categories. And the same thing obviously applies in reverse. Just because you're a Christian doesn't mean that atheists are somehow misguided people that just love um, that just love pleasure and want to deny God because they're you know they're selfish people that you know all that kind of stuff. That's all silly. So that's my first point. You can't you can't generalize like that. But the second, and probably more important point, is where smugness comes from and what smugness does to people. So when you're smug, what you're really saying is you're superior to that person, right? You're so, hmm, look at my nose, how high up it is. I'm such a great, fabulous person, and they're so insufficient in every respect compared to me. You're basically doing a, an ad hominem in advance. You're basically saying, I can dismiss any argument this person makes. I don't even need to listen to them. I can just respond with sarcasm in advance because they're pathetic people for what they believe. So you're saying that you and your beliefs and your kind of um, virtues are inherently better and you don't even really need to reevaluate your position. That's the big problem. When you're smug, you're sure that you're right, right? So, you're going to be sitting there and you're going to be very unlikely to challenge your own beliefs as uh, part of incoming evidence because you're already sure that you're right. Someone who's smug is going to do less self-reflection and therefore correct less errors in their own thinking and their own worldview than someone who is, let's put it, as humble and who constantly challenges their own beliefs as much, at least, as they challenge other people's. What does that mean over time, you know, scientific process? That means over time the smug person is going to be wrong about more and more things, especially considering that, you know, religion is really just a little tiny part. And even, you know, left, right, divide, they're all actually, by themselves, fairly small parts. Understanding your existence, being a human being, involves so many things. So, but people who are smug, they tend to take that smugness and really rest on it. You know, they're resting on laurels, often laurels that are unearned in the first place. Um, and they just stop actually refining their own views about the world. So when I see a smug person, I go, there's a person who's probably wrong about more things than they're right about. Because I can see that they're smug, so they're probably not reflecting on anything that they understand. They're probably not thinking about the world anymore. They've probably, you know, just set, settled back and, you know, they're throwing their barbs up there. That's my view on smugness. Um, and I mean, I guess the last thing I want to say about smugness is, of course we're all smug sometimes, of course we're all hypocrites sometimes, of course we're all assholes sometimes. I'm not saying if you're smug once that means you're a bad person. Not at all. I'm smug plenty of times, I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, when someone calls you out on it, when someone says, that's not productive, you know, why are you, why are you saying these things? Why are you keep coming at me with the sky daddy with the you're a spawn of Satan thing. That's that's bullshit. And then you actually stick to your guns and you're proud of how smug you are. You're proud of how right you are by default. Um, that's where the problem comes in. That's that kind of self-confidence smugness. That really is the issue. Um, and in that case, that's you know, where I... And those are usually the professional smug people who, whenever they approach a new topic, come at it with the same kind of smugness. 
that's the people that I worry about. And that's the people that, you know, I mean, personally, I take anything they're going to say with a grain of salt because I know they haven't really uh, put their own thoughts, their own ideas under enough intellectual scrutiny. Church of SDFU, I'll see you guys all later.